Hello, Cancer. This is your mid-July 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Cancers, but I'm going to try to get as many of you as possible. And I do the ask the universe to try to include as many of you as possible, so let's get to it. I do not like the dilly, dilly dot around when I'm doing these cards. I know you like your cards read quickly also if you're busy like myself. So Cancer, mid-July 2018. Cancer, mid-July, 2018. This could be a general five-card reading. Like I said, it will not resonate with all Cancers. I wish it would. And hopefully it will be a positive reading. I do shuffle these prior. I meditate on all my, on my, all my cards. Let's find out what's going on in the past. Could be a Prince of Cups. It's in reverse. This also could be your energy. And any any sign can go into reverse very easily, depending on what's going on in their lives. Um, things could be disruptive. They could be in a bad mood. They could have left or he lost their jobs, uh, gotten in a relationship that didn't work out, you know, or gotten out of a one, I should say. But the Prince of Cups is in reverse in the past. And like I said, this could be your energy because it is a water energy. Uh, but it also could be a Scorpio or a Pisces in your past. It's turned around for some reason. Now, why is the Prince of Cups in reverse in the past? Oops. Knight of Cups. They're really, really I, not in a good mood. Not right. Not feeling 100% like themselves because you got the Knight of Cups also, a water energy in the past turned around. I'm going to try to one more time get another card for this because we need to know why these two cups are in reverse. Something really negative happened. <clears throat> Could have to do with work. It's a uh, eight of pentacles is in the upright. It could have a lot to do with work and it does not necessarily money work. It would be like stability in your life. You were working very, <clears throat> excuse me, hard at it. <clears throat> And it's got you turned around for some reason. Now, let's get your obstacle here for cancer for mid of July. What is your obstacle for mid July, cancer? Not liking what is offered. Maybe somebody will offer you something and you won't like it. Or maybe you're going to offer somebody something and they're not going to like it. But it's the Four of Cups. It's in the upright. So... It doesn't mean that it's ne necessarily negative. It could be just the fact that you just don't like what's out there or what's been offered to you. And that's an obstacle. It's just nothing out there that you want. So let me find out. Four cups. Why are you the obstacle for cancer? Could it have to do with money? Maybe you just don't it, maybe the offer for some of you is that. It just wasn't financially uh, what you want, not lucrative. You don't think it's worth your time, whether it's money, whether it's relationships, whatever it is, you just didn't think it was worth your time. Or, you know, you consider it more like an obstacle, like it's not good for you. Or like I said, this could be vice versa. You could be like someone else feeling this way towards you and you're trying to make an offer and they're just not accepting it because they don't think it's lucrative for them or good for them. Now the current environment in mid-July, okay, they call it the current environment, but what's going on in mid-July 2018 for a lot of you, hopefully a lot of you, three of cups in reverse. I don't see you partying too much, going out with friends too much. You may be turning a lot down. Or someone could be turning you down. But I'm, I'm reading this as yours, as you know. And this is the Three of Cups. It is in reverse. I'm going to find out why the Three of Cups is in reverse for Cancer. Why is it in reverse for Cancer? Could have to, to do with this Queen of Swords in the upright. Now, the Queen of Swords can be an air sign. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Not necessarily in that order. They're in the upright. But maybe they're offering to go out and you're not doing it. Or maybe, the, you know, it could be vice versa, like I said. But it's like you're just not in the 
really going out mood, or maybe you do want to go out and, and it's just not working out for you, you leave it in the comments if you want of why this is going on in your life, why you're feeling so down. But let me get another card for the Three of Cups. Why is it there? Why are you feeling so, I don't want to go out, or I just don't see a lot of celebrating with friends right now or family members in mid-July. Maybe it's just not what you're feeling like. The opportunity's not there. There's a Nine of Pentacles. It's in reverse, like the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. It could be that finances aren't 100% to do what you want to do with your life right now. I'm not saying you're poor. I'm not saying you're, you know, destitute. I'm saying that maybe you just don't want to spend money where you don't think it's worth it. I'm going to get another card for this Four of Cups here because I know that's an obstacle. No new beginnings. It's like, the obstacle is, I think, I don't think it's that you don't want a beginning because it's in the upright. I'm thinking that you're wanting to start somewhere else new. And it's like everything looks so blah to you. It's not what you're wanting. You're wanting something new. You're just not going to accept anything. Not this time around. Now, the outside influences, what is coming towards you, what other people are thinking possibly, is this next card, Cancer. Knight of Swords in reverse. You may have this person coming towards you, and they're also in reverse. It's like everybody's in a foul mood, except for this, this Queen of Swords. Now, this Knight of Swords in reverse, it, it, it could be coming towards you. It could be what other people are thinking of you, but you're not the, you're a cup's energy. But this person, when they're turned around, when they're speaking to you, they're kind of their words are sharp and they're kind of untruthful. They're not they're not telling you the truth. They're just angry. They're just spouting out words. So that's the feeling I'm getting. Why are you there, Knight of Swords? Why are you coming towards Cancer in mid July? Someone wants to come out of a burden with you. This is the Ten of uh, Wands. It's in reverse. So some, it's, when it's in reverse, it's like someone's wanting to let go of a burden, but they're not doing it very well. They're not coming across very well to you. And that burden may be, with the Ten of Wands, the burden may stay there, especially it's in reverse. And it's, because it's attached to this Knight of Swords, it's in reverse. I feel like the burden's not being lifted because you got two basic negative cards here. Let me get another card for the Knight of Swords and the Oppressive card that's in reverse. This is a Saturn card, too. Represents Saturn. And if you know anything about astrology, Saturn can really teach us some lessons that are not always fun. So, Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, why are you there? Five of Cups. Now, yeah, someone, because these are all... Five of Cups, when it's in reverse, if it's by itself, a lot of times it can mean that somebody is coming out of disappointment. But if it's attached to other negative cards, it could mean that it's stuck in that disappointed. I am disappointed in what occurred. I don't feel like I'm coming out of this burden that maybe that is involved with the Knight of Swords. And with the Five of Cups, you know how that is. That's If you ever see it on other, other uh, decks, it's somebody who's very sorrowful they're looking in front of them they got three spilt cups in front of them but they don't see the two full cups so you may not be seeing everything as it is but you're still oppressed over a certain situation it's not being lifted in mid-july that's coming coming towards you anyway the outside environment i do not think it's what people are thinking of you i think that's what is coming towards you remember we're having mercury in retrograde you're going to have a lot of strange things coming in mid-July that were from the past, or you may be thinking about the past. We all go through it, some more than others. Depends on your own birth chart in astrology. Mercury in retrograde. If you want to know what it, what it, how it's affecting you, go look at your birth chart. Look, see where Mercury is in your birth chart and see where it's also trans, transiting. 
what house they are on. I know it's a long story, but I may actually go further into that so you can understand your own self a little bit more and take more control. But the outcome for you, Cancer, in mid-July, the outcome, you're not going to be able to move on just quite yet from whatever the situation is occurring. I'm thinking a lot of people are just in a really bad mood, really, really put out. Uh, Six of Swords, why are you in reverse for Cancer? Because you're still wanting growth with the Empress. She's in the upright. You're wanting growth. You're wanting blessings. You're wanting uh, things to grow in your life a lot better than they were. And, and it may very well be. It may happen somewhat. Maybe you're just stopping and, and deciding to smell the roses, as they say. Instead of trying to move on from troubled waters, maybe you're just looking for the positives in whatever is occurring in your life. One more card for Cancer for mid-July. Cancer mid-July. Princess of Swords. Yeah, you're going to maybe try to do something with the Swords energy that's in reverse, because she is in reverse. Like I said, that's an air energy. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But I don't see you moving on from this person just yet, or they're not moving on from you. They're just maybe still hopeful that something can grow from this, at least in July and a little bit pa and past July. Remember, just because I, I'm calling this for July, it may start out that way, but the story may not end too much later. And you got desire. You got the lust card in this deck, and it's just not about lust. Sometimes it is. But it's about desire. You still have a strong desire for somebody or someone still has a strong desire for you. Someone may have a strong desire for you and they just don't know how to act towards it. They don't know how to express themselves in this situation because they are in reverse and they're kind of putting you in reverse too, Cancer. So you are hopeful or this person is hopeful for you in mid-July and further on. And this is your reading and I will come back for August. And I hope you have a good rest of the month. Or try, you can remember, you can change this stuff if you really wanted to. You have free will. And that is your reading. Talk to you later, Cancer. Bye.